Reverend Jackson, I wonder if you could talk to us a little bit more about some of the issues that you think young people should be leading on. We've, we've talked about a few of the things, but are there other issues that you think young folks should be taking the leadership stance on? America's a liberal idea. How can you have an our country that is based upon liberality and liberation be so anti-liberal? That's like, that's, a, that's toxic waste <laughs> to our consciousness. It's hard to be a, an, an American conservative. It's a contradiction in terms. <laughs> Man, if you take away freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of protest, lock people out based upon their race or the language or their religion, that, that's conservative and fascist. But America is a liberal idea. It's the idea <laughs> of human rights for all human beings, measured by one yardstick, was threatening the tyranny. That's why the most revolutionary rule in the Bible, the most revolutionary rule, is a golden rule. That is the most threatening rule of tyranny you can imagine. For those who are driven by inheritance and privilege, as opposed to work and sacrifice, it's a very threatening rule. You've got something to fight for. <laughs> it's the agenda. I mean, the agenda is before us. And so if you must occupy, define occupation. So it's not a nebulous term. Uh, fighting for easier access to education and the right to vote, and the right to health care is a fight worth fighting. And that may very well be as, as, the, as the winner falls, this has not been a frigid winner, as the winner falls, this is the fight of our future. So my favorite Reverend Jesse Jackson story is I actually registered people to vote for young people. And I was five years old, so it was quite convincing. It really was. My dad took me and my brothers to Perth and Boyd, New Jersey, to the bases and everything, in order to register military families. It is like if someone shows up in your door, they're five. <laughs> you know, sure, actually.